Well, hey, y'all. Welcome back to the house on Avery Road. I've got to tell y'all something. You know, like about a month ago, I got to meet Zach and Jen Stivers from the Stivers Homestead. And a few nights ago, I got the great opportunity to meet Jess and Maya from over at Roots and Refuge Farm. Now, let me just tell y'all something. Both of these people, both of these couples are such amazing people. And they they really inspire me to grow more, do more, and be better. So, I just, I want, if, they're, if they watch this video, I just want to thank both those couples for doing what you do. Promoting the Grow Your Own Food movement, which here, and Jess and Maya and Zach and Jen, and a lot of people always say it. Do what you can, where you can. Now, y'all know I ain't got no big old homestead. I ain't got the first farm animal. Not a rabbit, not a chicken. I want rabbits. I want chickens. I want to grow my own eggs and stuff like that. And I would like to have a big garden where I can can more and grow more. But I do what I do where I can. And it's out there in these flower beds. So, right now what we're about to do is go out there and I've got to get my collard greens and my lettuce starts in the ground so that they can come on and start getting established before our first frost. And I think I got a couple of weeks left before the first frost. And I'll do what I can to cover them up and protect them. But I got a little bit later start. So we're just gonna try, right? My college did amazing last year and survived all the way through the winter to the spring and actually started bolting in the spring. So I'm hoping that that's gonna be the case this year. I'm gonna show y'all my cabbages, which are gorgeous. I'm gonna show y'all my broccoli, which are gorgeous. And somebody asked me the other day, he said, what do you do about um, oh, the, the little white moths that lay the eggs and that, that eat your brassicas and stuff like that? We don't have those right now, so I ain't got that to worry about. But anyway, I'm gonna take y'all around, show y'all some stuff, and we're gonna get these plant starts in the ground. All right, well, first things first, this is my cabbages. Look how pretty they are, y'all. I'm very excited about those, very happy with those, the progress that they've made. Right here, these, I believe, if I'm not bad wrong, that that is rutabagas. And I'm probably gonna have to pull out that one and that one so that the bigger one right here can have more room to groove, right? This is my broccolis and they're looking amazing. Loving those. Let me get right here and show you the stem on that one. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. So that's that. Now, what I'm going to do right here is I'm fixing to go get a couple to three lettuce starts and put lettuce right here. Okay, y'all. I know it's real bright because it's like the lunch time around here. But I'm fixing to get these lettuce in here. Look at this lettuce start, y'all. How pretty. It's a pretty. I'm gonna put it right here. If y'all remember from a few videos ago, this is some compost that I put down. Hopefully this is gonna be the right distance apart. Oh, I don't know if y'all can see that, but that is flatly partially that's doing really good. Oh yeah, these lettuce starts look amazing. Hopefully, y'all pray with me that they come on and do right. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, should I just plant two more? Like one right here and one right there? What should I do? I think two more, because I've got another bed for these to go in. Push them up, pull them out. That's gorgeous. Beautiful. Right. Now y'all know that I'm brand new to this. So I just try, that's all I do. I try, put this other one right here. Right there. 
and we're gonna see how they do. Hopefully they do good because my fat tail's in the mood for a salad. And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna water these in with uh, fish emulsion. Fish emulsion. I love some fish emulsion. You know what I gotta do now? Before I get to doing this, I've got to go right over there. I've got to pull out that okra. It has done what it's gonna do, provided all that it's gonna provide, and I need to get it out of that bed. Now, that bed grew all last winter and all summer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some grass clippings and leaf mulch, and I'm gonna mulch over that and just let that set empty for the winter. Until next spring when I get ready to amend the soil, put in my rock dust, my fertilizer and all that kind of stuff, and that bed should be ready to go next summer. Now this is the bed I'm going to be growing my collards in and a couple of kales. So this is some good compost, black cow compost. I know it's not the best, but it's what I had. Now I'm pretty sure this is kale, so I'm gonna put these on this end. I think it's probably too late for these, but I'm gonna try. Never hurts to try. This is the purple white globe turnip. And I'm gonna just plant a small row of these right here beside the uh, collards and between the collards and the uh, lettuce, just to see. Maybe it won't be too late and maybe we can get us a mess turnips. Okay, y'all, there's one more thing that I gotta do before I end this video. And that is, I've got one more butternut squash up here to harvest, then all these vines can come off. And it's getting close to Halloween, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this butternut squash off, I'm gonna leave the vines for now, and I'm gonna run Halloween lights through here so when the kids come to trick or treat, they have to walk through this to get to the front door with all the Halloween stuff. Maybe I'll put some rags or something to hang, just for Halloween, you know? Something fun. So let's get this old butter at school. I'm gonna cut it right there. My, that's a pretty one. Look. Ah, I've been looking at this thing all summer. Sure is pretty. I love butternut squash. All right. 
Now I can decorate this for Halloween and be looking for a video about, um, should I tell you now? There's gonna be a video coming out that's gonna be kind of exciting. So y'all look for that one. All right, well, I think I'm gonna wrap it up for now. Until next time, thank y'all so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment in the comment box, ring the bell so that you'll know every time we put out a video. And um, as Jess says, we bless ya. I need to come up with my own little catchphrase. What should it be? Something like, bye y'all. Okay, last little tag for this video. These are the butternut squash that I have left over because I've given two away. I've canned two. And what happened to the other one? Oh, I ate it fresh. He <laughs> Um, but this is what I got. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six, seven, eight. I canned. Eight, nine, ten. Two I give away. And one I ate eleven. So off of three butternut squash plants growing up the arch trellis, we harvested 11 butternut squash. I think that's pretty good.